My friend, I have to tell you, last year when we did our interview, we actually did it twice because I felt the first time I didn't give it justice. The second time I did it, I'm glad I did because, and this is no lie, of all the shows that I got comments about uh, from fans, yours was the most. People absolutely loved it. It was different. It was unique. It was funny. It was exciting. It was how come, crazy. How come they're calling you? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't call me. I can show you, man. I'm dead serious. I'm I got sensitive a lot. about. The, I'm very sensitive about that word. Your show is not my show. It's like it's a very much takes a village. There's a big team involved, right? But I appreciate that very much. And uh, yeah, send them on. Send, give them my phone number. I definitely will, my friend. I mean, when you think about that and you hear that, and I know you just kind of mentioned it, though, but, I mean, people really connected with your character. You know, it's the little guy who, it really is the little guy who could. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I think that's a kind of a classic story that you can find new ways to tell, and a lot of people root for the underdog, and and uh, it, it's also straddles this funny dramatic tone I think the characters are played with a lot of sympathy and um, but he's also padded by you know real kind of fierce cast which makes it easier to root for him the meaner his mom is the more sympathy you have for him and yeah I think people just really responded I don't know because it's a it's a honest rendition of a story that came from our hearts, you know. When this story was finally put together, I mean, what were your thoughts in wanting to present it in a certain way when it came to filming, when it came to um, the writing, and when it came to even the scenes to make it what it has become? I mean, what were your thoughts behind all this and to be able to see what it has become? Well, again, I think um, even though it was a comedy and it was a half hour and, and we wanted it to be funny, I think that we always wanted it to be authentic and true and we wanted the emotion to be real. And so that kind of gives it a tone that that kind of puts it somewhere between comedy and drama. Um, but I think it makes it unique and it really kind of holds it together. But is this, well, it's funny because, you know, I, I didn't watch a whole series. I watched uh, several episodes and to me, it was probably one of the shortest mini movies that I got to watch. Was that the approach that you were thinking about? Well, I mean, we had a, um, a sort of unifying vision for the look of the show. Mm -hmm. It doesn't shoot in studio. It's out in location. We yeah. wanted it to look like an independent, independent film. Um, and I think we really succeeded in that. And I think we even exceed, succeed further in second season. I think we take it up a notch in that way. We have a new DOP in second season. She's uh, British and she kind of comes from that aesthetic. And, mm -hmm. and our art director is uh, also British. And uh, we were kind of looking to dig into that gritty uh, Mike Lee, Lynn Ramsey kind of uh, backdrop production design exactly. and and because we're over there on the edge of this country and uh, uh, that world is sometimes closer to us mm -hmm. you know and it uh, yeah and and one of the things that we always said about you know when you look at a Newfoundland tourism commercial which are always beautiful and it makes the place look really colorful and it makes the place look really inviting and in reality of living there <clears throat> it's not that colorful it's actually you know probably got two or three colors and so <laughs> We uh, it can be tough, right? It can be tough, yeah. and it's and it's a hard, it's a hard place to live, and people have to be hard to stay there and to live there that and to sense. hang on to that. And so, because I think we had that idea that bled into how we kind of shaped the characters and how we shaped the look of the show and how we sh we filmed it. So, what can we expect with this season? I know uh, your character is kind of on the run on this time, you know, for doing basically the right thing. Uh, we pick him up. Mm two seconds after the last time we've seen him. Mm -hmm. So well, what we can expect this new season is we've introduced a few new characters, a few new storylines, mm -hmm. uh, broadened out our, our themes of like family and emancipation. We're really delving into, uh, whereas the first season dealt a lot with uh, Tommy and his mother and the mother's dynamic with the family and all this, we're moving into uh, fathers and sons and fatherhood and, and this sort of thing, really exploring those themes from a number of angles. And uh, we still have a, a lot of boxing, a good boxing, a lot of fun stuff. 
um, and the built-in sports drama of the, f the fight night and all this, but it's definitely not what... Uh, I think we're going to give audience what they want, but just not how they're expecting to get it. I'm going to leave it to that. I don't want to give too much more away. I think we got to leave them hanging and bring them in. i got to say congratulations on the new season. Congratulations on having such an original show. But more importantly, thank you that this show is Canadian. Thank you so much for representing this week. Hey, thank, thank you. you very Thanks much. A lot. Appreciate that.